Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Obviously, everybody listening to this, they, they know it's like spoiler alert, right? You have to really watch yeah, you Squid, should have Squid watched Game. Episode one, you yeah. should have watched Squid yeah. Game. I guess I should have led with that. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll put a big spoiler alert at the front of the episode. I know. Thank you. We'll be Thank good. You. Don't worry. Okay. What you're watching? Just between you and me. What you're streaming on your TV? Let me see. What you're watching? Action, drama, comedy. What you're streaming on your TV? This should be more for the main podcast than the spinoff podcast, but uh, oh. Brooksy and I, uh, we share we share headphones because she doesn't have any AirPods. And so, okay. and I use these for the uh, podcast. So do you think it's uh, okay for a couple to share headphones and get each other's ear stuff mm. in each other's ears? Or does that cross the line? You better have been together a while. You better have been at least 20 years. Oh yeah, we're there. You put it that way, it sounds a little gross, but I, I think it's fine. Let's face it, when two people are a couple, they do all sorts of things, which, you know, which are probably gross, depending on your interpretation, right? right. So a little, little sharing headphones can't be that big, they yeah. be, they a big sometimes, deal. Sometimes they do it less, though, as the years go on. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes they exchange the headphones <laughs> less and less, so it's down to like once a month. Once a month. And then you're just using the headphone on your own. <laughs> on your own. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome I mean, that's to, what I heard. Welcome to, uh, what do we call this? Stoff, what do we want to call this? Uh, many suggestions online. I'm thinking rubber squid. Rubber squid. I like rubber it. squid. Rubber I like squid, it. Episode I like one. it. Perfect. I like it. I like it. Uh, rubber squid is a, is a sexual pose, by the way. Did you know that? Mm. Should have yeah. been an urban dictionary. Yeah. You've never done the rubber squid before? No. You invented it, right, uh-huh. Jimmy? Yeah. yeah. What is yeah, the move? Me, me and Brooksy invented the Turks and Caicos. <laughs> <laughs> um, when the wife so, takes the uh, earphones and uh, and the, <laughs> she listens to other stuff while you're having sex. That's what it is. <laughs> so uh, this is our our second spinoff. So now we have now we have three podcasts, right? We have the uh, mm-hmm. Rubber Boots podcast. We yep. have the Gold Bar League podcast, and we have the Rubber Squid podcast. Is that right, Stop? And the uh, Lester and Soft Show. And Currently on hiatus. Come right. for retooling. Yeah. We're tired. <laughs> so basically, uh, stuff. I should let you explain this, but we're uh, uh, basically we're spinning off what you're watching into yes. another pod. Just because our listeners cannot get enough of the pod, once a week is not enough for them. So we're going to do like little mini pods, right? Little mini pods, yes. kind of yes. like we did for the beauties beauties after show, right? Yes. Uh, beauties, by the way, likely coming back in uh, January. I haven't told stuff that, but uh, we're heading <laughs> Beauty, Beauty season, news. <laughs> Beauty <laughs> season two headed back in January. Wow. Okay. So, so then we'll have the Rubber Boots pod, the Beauties pod, the Beauties after show pod, the Rubber Squid pod, the Gold Bar League pod, the Lester and Stoff show pod. Now we'll have six, six different mm-hmm. podcasts. Podcasting. All brought to you by BetSafe.net. BetSafe.net. See? Uh, everyone listening yeah. in Malta, because the BetSafe.net uh, people, uh, Stoff and I have a big uh, conference call with them this week, so I know nice. they're listening. Uh, mm-hmm. You're getting six pods in one. Okay. Huge. Okay. How good is that? What kind of, how good a deal is that? Good value. Excellent. Mountain Valley Sparkling Water. Uh, they're not a sponsor of the podcast, but I highly recommend them. Although it looks like I always drink it in the car, and the cops always think that I got a bottle of gin or something going. I think when I pull up, pull up in the traffic, I, I think that's because they've been tailing you for 15 minutes and you've been swerving in and out of traffic. That's right. Okay. So uh, this is going to be a, uh, a mini pod that's going to turn into an hour and 10 minutes. Always does. <laughs> no, As no, we try no, to we're explain gonna, it. No, we're going to make it short. And we are going to take you through Squid Game, the most popular show in the history of Netflix. And uh, we it? talked about it. In episode it is. Absolutely. if it hasn't been it is already stop has got some numbers in here in this week and we're going to do like there's a lot of those shows a lot of podcasts do recaps of shows so we're gonna like this. we're gonna do that i don't know if there's probably like 55 squid game podcasts but none of them have us for no. and the it's, kind of in-depth analysis yeah. and our takes nobody else True. has our takes on the squid game so stop what, what, what do you want to say? What do you want to do first here? Do you just want to talk about Squid Game? Because that would be the podcast. Oh, yeah. I think, you know, we're going to start this week with episode one. In coming weeks, we'll do a couple episodes at a time. But we figured that right. episode one would be a good place to kind of, you know, dig So in the Rubber Squid started, podcast right? will not last all year. It'll probably be like about four or five episodes. Then yeah. we'll move on to something else. We'll probably move on to Gold Bar League or something else. 
during right. the week. So okay, uh, yeah, okay. but I guess we all watched episode one up until this point. Yes, all right, so I've, I've uh, only seen episode one. Puffy Me too. had a uh, a hot take. He came in uh, to work. Oh, we were doing a game the other night, and he had a had an early hot take on episode one. So why don't you start, Puffy? I have, I have no idea what you're talking about. You talked to me. <laughs> like, about literally. That. You came literally. into the studio and James, you talked to me about the lead I, actor. The lead actor. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. One second, guys. One second. Like, should I, we do some sort of, like, just quick synopsis of what happens in this show? Like, James, well, do you okay, want to just do so a quick summary? We, I, I don't really remember uh, what happens in the show, but I'll, I'll, I'll do a synopsis. Okay, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> you don't, well, how do you I watched, not remember? Well, well, you, you, know, guys just, you guys just all I, watched episode one. I watched them all together. I, well, I've already yeah, watched all nine, so it's all Yeah, but work. we're talking about episode one, though. All right, yeah. all right. Well, I'm just going to try yeah. and remember. <laughs> you so, better only remember episode one. Yeah. Anything else we talk about, it has to only be episode one, otherwise you I know, but that's why I'm saying that I might... I might leak into episode two. Oh, God. There is so, no other Squid Game podcast that does this, I can guarantee you. That's <laughs> real guarantee. Uh, uh, Siang, Siang Jin Hao, oh, and I, by the way, I apologize to any of our Korean listeners if I mispronounce these. Uh, somebody can correct me. Uh, the actor is Lee Jung Jae, and we're introduced to him first. He's a chauffeur, and he's a gambling addict. He lives with his mom. He's having trouble. He's separated from his wife, having trouble supporting no. his, his young course. daughter. Divorced. divorced. Thank He's you. Divorced. Yeah, the, the wife is remarried. He's a gambling addict. We see him at the track. Uh, you're introduced to him. He's a mess. Uh, you're introduced to Park uh, Su is the actor. Uh, Cho is the character. And Cho, Cho Sang Woo. He's like a uh, financial guy, an investment guy, but he's clearly on hard times. We get the feeling that the, the, the IRS or whatever the South Korean version is chasing him and the cops are chasing him. And we're also introduced to uh, Wang Jun Ho, a police officer. Uh, were, are we introduced to him in episode one? No, 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 no. we're only. Hold on, I think we're <laughs> only introduced to one person. Can I? Hello, everybody. Hey, my name is Lester. Well, William, you I'm know what? Podcast. You're on. Lester. Why don't you take? Why don't you take over this thing? Uh, you should have from the from the beginning. No, no, I was just going to say, I watched it yesterday. So um, the, right, the premise fresh. of the series is this. Um, there are several people. A main character, as you said, is right. He's a, he's a gambling addict. He owes tons of money. Um, he's on down luck. He's trying to get in a situation where he can see his daughter. He's having a hard time with that. Um, he goes to the track, wins some money, but is immediately robbed. And uh, at that point as well, the people that he owes money to that are not legitimate businessmen, Basically, kick his ass and make him sign some type of document with his blood about now, not about repaying. The, okay, the person he's robbed by, also a key character. Did you know that already? Yes, 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 we, know yes that. we know that. Yes, <laughs> but I, I think yes, Lester yes. will get to that. Yeah. Well, Sorry. okay. Well, well. The, the pre- <laughs> so from that point, he finds out he's more money, and he meets and he meets a gentleman on the subway at the subway who suggests to him, "Hey, listen, let's play a game." And I will give you, uh, I can't remember what the amount of money was, but I'll give you this money and he wins a bunch of money. I think he wins one, I thought a hundred thousand dollars, right? I think it's what it is, something like that. But he wins enough money that he goes home very happy, but he takes this guy's cart. Now, hold so on one home. second, one sec, one okay. sec. James, if that guy he meets on the subway comes back in the show, do not say anything because we don't know that, okay? Because we okay. never see that guy again after, after the subway meeting. So if he so, actually returns, do not mention that ever. Okay. So when okay. he comes back with the machine gun, at no, the no, episode, see, oh, no, oh. no, no, we don't know anything more about kidding. this guy. I'm just kidding. That doesn't happen. So anyway, okay. so we come to find out that this gentleman who just won this money, he he comes to find out that his his daughter is going to be moving to the United States with his, her new family. He has to come up with certain money and show that he's in good financial standing, which of course he is not. So the gentleman he meets in the subway gives him a card and says, if you want to play a game and make some more money, call me. He calls the guy, they pick him up, he goes to a certain location, they pick him up, and he gets into a van with a couple guys other people fun, who- Guys in funny masks, they're not showing their identity, yes. right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and the other other guys in the van are asleep, and he says, what's going on? The guys are asleep, and all of a sudden, this mist hits him, and sure enough, it's knockout gas. He wakes up in a large area, like like a prison, with a whole bunch of bunk beds. Everybody's dressed in suits and has numbers on them. At that point, they are all like, a, I, I would say what guys, what, 100 people, 150 people, something like no, that. I think 400, it's 400, 400 and something. So yeah, the right, number, 400, 450, 
he is actually contestant number 456. Thank you very much. I just saw this yesterday, but good call. So anyway, uh, they are said that they are they are told about your that synopsis point. is taking up the entire uh, squid 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 rubber. Squid hey man, he, he he's doing a great job. I wouldn't be able to do it this well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway, sure enough, they start playing these games. They all sign up to play these games, and the first one is red light, green light. Green light. Yeah. Should yeah. I stop there, guys, or should I go on? Well, I, if anybody anybody watching the podcast is a watch the episode, right? Yes, that's yeah, the so whole point of it. Okay, have, so, so I think they would understand, which kind of made the recap useless. But anyway, keep going. No. <laughs> well, so ultimately, uh, well, well <laughs> so ultimately, this is a deadly game of red light, green light. Yeah, yeah that so doll, you know, that creepy it. doll behind uh, stuff. If anyone's watching on YouTube, yeah. Yeah. that's the cre- that's the creepiest thing ever. And then mm-hmm. basically, you're running, you stop. The- <laughs> now right. the thing is, though. I didn't like that game, how, how like when people would move, they'd get killed, but mm. then sometimes other people were moving and they weren't getting killed. Yeah, the, the main character trembled, trembled yeah, a lot trembled. and it never yeah. picked yes, up on it. Yeah, and that, yeah, that yeah, part I didn't like. It. Yeah. That, I'd be willing to play that either. game, but I'd want to be like, if I legitimately was still, I don't want to get shot. So <laughs> if you blink, you're dead? Is that what you're saying? You know, well, you I don't know. It seemed blink, like some blink. people would just do like a little move and they'd get just taken out and then other people were looked like they were moving. This, this entire series is a bunch of puffy hypotheticals. Would you play yeah. red light, green it, light? It kind of is. Yeah. Essentially, yeah. essentially, yes. Uh, and right. then, I mean, it, the thing is, as long as it doesn't take place on an island, I feel like they haven't stolen anything. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we don't know. In we do. We do. One. Yeah, we do. We, do. we know so, right at the end. That happens right did, at the end. When you finally watched it, did you get the Murder Island vibes? I threw my converter across the... As the you should have, <laughs> right? And I've but lawyered we up, so baby. Close. We were so close. Fairness, I wouldn't have had any of the parts that were interesting. I know, but we have <laughs> we have the concept of Murder Island on tape, on like season three or four of the podcast, mm, so true. we could present that in court. Yeah. Although you had convicted killers, I think, not people yes. that were desperate for money in yeah. South Korea. It's a different desperation. We would yeah, have gotten so, there for season four. Okay. Anyway, very good recap, uh, Lester. And, and Puffy, Thank you. so you thought that the lead actor uh, was terrible was or overacted. Is that acting? It was really? Like it was a silent film. I thought it was like, it was like, it, he was so okay, overacting and it was some of the worst performance. Wow. I, I, I had to stop wow. after 30 minutes. I was like, I can't watch this guy anymore. This is terrible. I am he did have a lot of moments where he was, was like, kind of like, whoa, 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 like jarred by something. His, yeah. But how much do you think of that is that mixed in with the overdubbing, which obviously doesn't lend itself to a great. I don't know. It just seemed like he was, oh, it seemed like he was a silent film. He, he was had like, like some I'm happy. He I'm had some scared. Nicolas Cage vibes. I think. Yeah. yeah so I, uh, I, I made that, I had that same observation in episode one and it all, it was actually to Puffy's, uh, to what Puffy was saying, it, it kind of took me aback. I'm like, well, this guy is just like every scene. He's so over the top, right? Cause no other thought, actor was doing that. Like it wasn't yeah, like, but, Oh, but that's maybe just he's, the style. He's kind like, of a manic crazy guy. And, and, yeah. and I will say this again, this is not a spoiler alert, but by the end of the show, I that that was gone on me. Like I thought he was doing. I thought he did a very good job. So uh, maybe it's just like the early getting to know him part or whatever. But I, I did feel the same way anyway. Um, and I think I'm guessing he's a big tar- star in South Korea. I don't know South Korean actors. Well, he is now. I think we've seen him before. Have we not? I, I, don't, uh, I don't know. Did sure. you guys, uh, Lester like Stoff? Did you guys all watch? with the dub because you can take it off and just watch it with Korean subtitles. I watched it with the subtitles. I did not watch it. There was no English on it until the last. Oh, so you watched actually. it only with the su- subtitles. Correct. Yes, I did. I, yeah, watched, okay. it I watched it with both. And the, yeah. the funny thing with that is it doesn't match up, right? It doesn't. A lot like of the voiceover different. is much different than what's written. Like, yeah. uh, I, th- I think that South Korean is hard to dub into to English. translate like, in general. Yeah. Here. Yeah. I, I just watched a, uh, I just watched a, I, a Dutch or a German show, uh, which I would recommend we can get into and watch you watch it in future episodes uh, about a serial killer called the the Chestnut Man. And the Ooh. dubbing in that series is so good. Like oh. the voice, the voices they chose are, I think it's Dutch or maybe Norwegian. I don't know. One of those things. <laughs> anyway, uh, but it's so well done that you can barely tell that they're not speaking, they're not speaking English. 
Mm-hmm. And, uh, it, and it, hold on. Is there any chance they're speaking English? No, they're not. No, it's not. It's definitely dubbed. But okay. so filmed in the US. So yeah. I think if I had to do Squid Game over again, I would do what Lester did and watch mm. it just with subtitles just read. Uh, okay. in, in South Korean. Because we tried yeah. to do that in about episode four. And, you know, you're sp- you get spoiled by dubbing, right? It's okay, everything's so- presented for you. Out of seeing both of them, though, I thought that the better, more realistic conversion, at least it sounded more like English, was the one that was overdubbed, that was spoken over, that the writing made less sense grammatically. Yeah. Oh, I had both. So I I did both. So I I know I did both, too. And that was my observation. That was my takeaway, that the the audio was better because the subtitles themselves at times didn't really make sense. I know, but I think wait, well it might feel more real without the dubbing. If you watch the show from the beginning, like Lester did, if you oh, just for watch sure, it, you'll probably get more of the emotional uh, responses right. and stuff like that. For sure. Right. Lester. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Maybe yeah. did you feel that guy overacted that we're talking about? Not at all. It, it never occurred to me. No, no. Not not all. Happens, in yeah. fact, in you fact, know. in fact, I, I think uh, one of the most profound scenes is when he's first, he, he, oh, when he's try, when he's actually, uh, trying to avoid getting killed and he stops and he's sweating and the, and the one guy grabs him. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Oh, that was yeah. heavy, man. That was heavy. Yeah. That was really good. That you know really what good. I would love to do with the, uh, with our podcast uh, is we should get one of our, uh, you know, someone who speaks a different language to dub the rubber That'd boots. Be pretty good. That would be pretty good. Yeah. That'd be like very I, good. Yeah. I did a uh, Tom, I, our, we have our two Finnish friends. I just did an interview with uh, one of them uh, last week, my pal, uh, Tommy, and uh, he uh, maybe he could dub it in Finnish for us, and then we could awesome. we could put it out yeah. as a Finnish version with we could get Finnish voices. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll play should. our characters. Well, I would think, guys, I would think guys, the way to go is <laughs> to get it dubbed into Korean. I, I think we should. Team Usalani. Oh, get, oh get, get it dubbed into Korean to see. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's and, the way to go. I yeah, think Korea is yeah. on fire now. Yeah, well, I think yeah, it's jump on the wave. If we have any, if we have any Korean listeners, I have a, a really good Korean friend of mine, uh, Doctor James Ah. Uh, I think maybe he could do it in his in in, in his yeah. off when days when he's, he's not a doctoring. Doctor, when he's not doctoring. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what so, else do we? Uh, are you intrigued by the show? Are you looking forward to watching more, or were you losing interest? The first half hour, I was kind of like, uh, but I have to say, like once uh, once the main character got in that car, um, it definitely my interest. Uh, yeah, peak. I think episode one doesn't really pick up like all that backstory stuff. It takes quite a while to develop. I guess it doesn't really pick up and get interesting till it gets to the island. But I guess mm-hmm. you, you know it's always building up towards something. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I guess that was part of it. Uh, for me, one of my favorite parts, and it was just like we we're just talking about the overdubbing uh, and it sounding weird sometimes, was I don't know if you guys noticed, but in the subway scene where they start playing the game and, you know, he decides to play with them and he doesn't have money after he loses the first one, right? Yeah. And the guy says to him, and it's translated as, why don't you pay with your body? <laughs> Which I found out, I'm like, where is this going? Like, okay. And then he slapped him. So I guess that's yeah, what yeah. Meant. it was one yeah. of those translation moments. I was going to say that, uh, you know, uh, funny, we're joking about it, but I think because we had the murder island thing, I was kind of prepared for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I was honest and I got it in my mind. Yeah. So nothing was that, all that shocking. I think it's quite interesting, you know, and I, and I just think uh, in this times when, you know, when you talk about that thing about desperation, uh, you know, you never know what people will do. And, and I would say to you, and this is maybe an outside thought, but it's not, it's not that far off from being reality. I think, I think something, I think it could happen. You know, <laughs> you're going to say 100%. Bell Media should try this. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I think, you know, you never know. You know, there's there's an underworld out there. Well, so. there is a uh, as you know, Stoff notes in his notes here. Um, South Korea has a real debt problem, and yeah. citizens in their 30s are the most heavily leveraged, or an average of more than 260 percent of their income. So there is an underlying theme to all this about the desperation of people, and uh, and it gets gets more into it as it goes along. Are you guys rooting for anybody, Puffy? You're the you're the wager. Uh, yeah, the betsafe.net uh, wager here. What would be the mm-hmm. betsafe.net odds? Uh, who would you pick as the favorite to win the, the Squid Game right now? From what you've seen, I know you don't know all from, the characters. From what, I, what I've seen, I like uh, the older gentleman, number one. 
the old guy. I think uh, I think he's gonna. He is going to go on a run here. I think he's gonna still be. uh, He's loving life in there. He's got no fear. By the way, have you you seen all the memes inspired by Squid Game? Like when Tom Brady goes for a, a when Tom Brady scrambles. Yeah, the people put the meme of the old guy. Oh, guy. Doing oh, green, green light. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. It's yeah, pretty I like him. God. And then uh, I also think that the um, burglar, uh, she's going to do well. The one, the right. woman who. Well, let's face it. We know that the you know the key characters are you know probably going to be key characters. Well, the thing but... is, I think that we don't actually know that those are key characters yet. We really okay. know only that the main guy's a key character. And if I had to bet, I would say he's going to win. Well, I'll say this yeah. is that you, uh, <laughs> yeah. you, you know, I'll, I'll sure. tell you this much. What I would have loved about the first episode is if they killed him right at the end, that would, I would open crazy. up the show completely. Yeah. Hey, listen, I, I, I'll tell you who I'm going to take. I'm going to take it's like Vegas. The house always wins, baby. That's who I'm taking in the squid games. That's all I'm saying. And I don't know because, anything about how it ends, so but we can talk about, I guess a every, little bit. Everybody they, dies. So the way they built it up, because initially, you know, when they told them, like, if you uh, lose a game, you're eliminated. I guess people there didn't know that would mean you'd be killed, right? Yes. Correct. No, of course not. But they also said wh- whoever, all the winners from, whoever wins all five ga- of their games will be the winners. So they made it sound like there will be more than one winner. But I'm also not sure if that's the case. I feel like maybe they're only in the end. Yeah, no, I, and they're saying, yeah, so they're they're hinting at the idea that, no matter how many people get through the five games, those people would be the winner, winners or winner mm-hmm. of the game. That is what they're certainly that's what they're yeah, hinting at. The correct. And they split correct. split the pinky piggy bank, right? Correct. Correct. Um, so there you go. Uh, we don't want to go too long on this, right? It's a short little mini episode. How long we got and stuff? I think we've done a great job recapping oh, episode one of Squid Game. Yeah, you <laughs> ruined it for us. Uh, so next week we'll be back with what episode? Uh, what two. Uh, two 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 one, three two. and four no, let's do two three and four next Ooh, week. two that's three and four lot. three that's and four five okay. that's yeah lot. well you got a week you got a week you can binge those what are they 40 45 minutes each you so you guys course. get to follow along every week and uh this is so our new Jimmy, popular, you're, very I'd like you podcast. to also watch episodes two three and four so that you know well, again, what not to spoil yeah, yeah yeah i'll do a quick yeah i'll do a quick like roll through it real fast so i don't mm-hmm. uh yeah, I was. Perhaps you could uh, go, go to Wikipedia and, I watched and it read like up two nights. We watched nine episodes in two nights. Really? Yeah, hmm. yeah. we don't have a lot going Could've on. Get here. enough? Say, so took a night off of the lovemaking. I assume. <laughs> 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 like, don't have time, babe. Squid Game. Where my earphones, Five. baby? <laughs> Where my earphones? <laughs> so, see you next week on uh, episode two of the, the Rubber Boots Podcast uh, spinoff. Rubber squid. Rubber squid? Is that what it's called? Squid rubber. Rubber squid. Hey, Wait, you next, that's a spoiler. Uh, oh, <laughs> you know, just, tell us the, just tell us who wins. Just tell is that us a spoiler? Was that a spoiler? Yes, of course it's a spoiler. A bit, yeah. I, All right. Don't worry. I'll just, cut it just, just beep over that part. Just beep over that line. All right? I can't beep over it in my life now. Yeah, I I'm understand. Die, guys. It's not all high. It's not Sesame Street, Lester. What you're watching. Just between you and me. What you're streaming. On your TV, let me see what you're watching. Action, drama, comedy, what you're streaming on your TV.